only thing that was the issue was, you know, the, the color of my skin, the way I was born. I don't, I can't help that. An exclusive interview tonight with a victim of an alleged hate crime. A woman had a glass bottle and racial slurs hurled at her as she jogged in Queens. And good evening, everyone, at 6 o'clock. I'm Bill Ritter. And I'm Liz John. We're going to begin with a disturbing attack. The NYPD Hate Crimes Unit is now investigating, and police tonight are searching for that woman who threw the bottle. The attack on the black jogger caught on camera, and tonight the victim speaking to Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. She was so loud and aggressive. This woman who threw a glass bottle at Tiffany while she was jogging and then spewed a racial slur. She did call me the N-word, and... I mean, I'm not an N-word, none of us are, but the reality is, is that this woman felt that she needed me to be that, and I would just say that she should look into herself as to why. The attack unfolded here at 53rd Place and Broadway in Queens. Police are now looking for that woman, the NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force investigating. In this exclusive interview, Tiffany tells me even after the camera stopped rolling, the suspect was relentless. She followed me up the block and was screaming, get out of here, go back to Africa, N-word. People tried to shoo the suspect away. Tiffany was afraid things would escalate. When you have adrenaline going, you, the, the first thing for me was just to get out of the situation. At the time, Tiffany had no idea someone was recording it all. It happened August 17th. The 37-year-old spotted it on social media a couple of days ago and went to police knowing she had proof. Tiffany tells me this is a soul-searching process for the suspect, who has a lot of work to do on herself. Her issues, whatever her actions were, like, are a reflection on her. It's not my problem, it's her problem. Since the incident, Tiffany has not been back to that neighborhood, but has received tremendous support from friends, family, and coworkers, and groups like Black Girls Run. Kimberly Richardson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.